Welcome back you guys. So tonight we're going to be working on a Glock 43. Now one of the things I want to quickly do is take you through the process of exactly what we're going to be doing before we do it. It'll just give you a little bit better understanding of the process that uh, we're going to be taking on each one of the machines. Um, so first and foremost we're going to do all the CNC work. Now what that means is we're going to go ahead and run a chamfer down these edges here on both the long sides and we're going to be running all three sides of the nose. We are not going to be running any of the back side and the reason why is because where your rod goes in here for your extractor we're going to end up hitting that hole because it's right on the curve. It's hard to see but maybe you guys can catch that a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave these three alone. Um, I always let my customers know you know issues that we'll run into if we if we go down a certain path. So they're they're cool with us doing the two top sides and the front three sides and that's exactly what we're going to be doing right around the nose there but we're going to stay away from the back. Now what we're also going to be doing is we're going to be shaving the sides. We want to go ahead and remove that existing text that's on here, clean it up, make it look just a little bit nicer. Then we're going to add a dual port on each side. So we're going to have two holes here, two holes on the other side to match it up. And then on the very top, we're going to go ahead and run a dual port on the top. And, um, and guys, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to kind of bring it back to you, sandblasted, kind of cleaned up a little bit. Uh, we're going to kind of review a little bit of what we did. And then we're going to talk about the laser work um, before we perform it. So guys, let's jump over to Tormach 770. Let's go ahead and start cutting.
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this into the uh, sandblast booth, and um, let's get this back over to the uh, stainless table under the light and take a look and see what we have here. All right, guys, well, it looks like this is the end of the CNC work. So basically everything's done. We shaved everything off. We went ahead and cut our holes. And it's really pleasing uh, to look at in comparison to the factory 43 that has the existing writing. That's just your square, um, you know, block, glock. Um, that's just uh, kind of dull and boring and plain. So um, really just awesome now. I mean, we've got a nice tapered uh, side here. We've got a nice tapered nose all the way around. And, um, and we're not done yet. So what we need to do now is uh, take it over to the laser. We're going to be running a Punisher logo on the, uh, the back here. We're also going to be adding a date to the gun because we want to have this a little bit personalized to the individual that owns it. So we're going to do a little bit of a date here on the back behind where the rear sight would go. And then uh, last but not least, we're going to be doing a laser pattern on the grip sections in the rear here to give us a little bit more bite, just a little bit more aggressiveness on our hand. So um, guys, let's get it over to the laser. Let's uh, see what we come up with. And then I'm going to do a real quick sandblast, real quick overall cleanup, and then we'll do a final review. All right, guys, well, we are all set with the laser work. So we got that Punisher put on there. We got the diamond pattern put on here on the uh, back grip section. That came out really, really nice. Um, also, we uh, added a date to it. The customer wanted to go ahead and put a personalized date on there. Uh, one of those things that, you know, if something turns up missing or stolen, uh, it's easily uh, identifiable. Uh, that kind of thing. So very, very cool there. I always encourage people if they have an, a name, a handle, a date or something, they want to add that to there. Uh, we'll put that on there while we're doing it just so that way it always stays in their possession and they, and they kind of know it's theirs if it ever did turn up missing. But um, I'm real pleased with the way it came out overall. Uh, we're to the point where it'll get turned over to the, uh, the customer and they can decide whether they want to coat it, clear coat it, um, or maybe send it out and have it tin coated or black nitride coated. Um, I'm not 100% sure what they're after. I, I'm thinking they're going with something along the lines of a clear coating, uh, maybe a little bit of prep work beforehand to get it to a, a certain tone or a certain shade that they're after. But um, overall, it looks killer for a 43. I'm really pleased with the way it came out. We've got that weight reduction. We've got that uh, real nice appeal to it now that we've uh, stripped all that text off and um, just have some decorative cutting around where the ejection port is instead of doing a straight cut. So um, it just came out really nice overall. And all right, guys, one of the last things I want to talk about is we had a gun show this past weekend in Greensboro, North Carolina, and I had about 800 cards that were handed out. So um, I had a ton of people from different states come by, see me, some people that already had known about the channel and they found out from our Instagram and from our Facebook account that where we were going to be. And they came out and to ask those questions, to put their hands on some of the uh, content that they've seen on the show. And we also had some stuff that we... Uh, we haven't done on the show quite yet. That was also out on the table. So one of those was this frame. Um, I haven't actually put a video out for you guys on this frame, but it was really cool because I had one at the show. I, I showed people that actually the process of what we take to, to actually uh, do the frames. And uh, we had a couple different patterns that were out there so people could see some different stuff. And it kind of just allowed people to come out and really put their hands on um, on some of the hardware. You know, they could feel it, they could scratch it, they could kind of get it in their hand and get those textures. And, and uh, at the end of the day, it, it was kind of one of those cool things where you know like I said people had the opportunity to feel the grip feel how it felt and actually you know check the durability there's some scratches on some of the parts and uh, you know I'm cool with that because I'm gonna sandblast them down I'm gonna redo them again and it gives you guys an opportunity to to uh, look at something that's a rough textured finish or a smooth textured finish because we do offer it in both 
uh, both uh, options. But really, it was the level of service that I offer you guys. And I think that was what most of you guys were impressed by was the quality of work that actually is being turned out and the level of um, customness that you're getting. Because when you go through a large shop that sells five to ten patterns, that's all you get. But when you come through us, you choose what you want. You know, you want a little of this pattern on the side, you want a little of that on the top, maybe you want an RMR cut, maybe you want a, a different pattern done on the grip. So there's an opportunity to build the gun that you want, not the one that the other 50,000 people bought over the last three or four years that they've been selling this pattern because they haven't changed the pattern. So um, I'm always encouraging people to reach out and even if it's just for a quote, maybe you don't have the money now, maybe you don't even have the gun now, but you're really wanting to build something, you're just kind of curious about what it's gonna cost, uh, what the turnaround times are, what your options are for coloring, you know, reach out to me, let me know, and uh, we'll get that kind of uh, ballpark for you so that way whenever you do have it and you are ready, you kind of know exactly what you're after. Um, and you can find the contact information from us on uh, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Um, Primarily the place to go is our webpage because we have a contacts page and there's a, an email address and a phone number and feel free to text me or call me. If you call me, please leave a voicemail. Um, I do work uh, 8 to 5 so I usually don't take any calls between 8 to 5. I'll call you back in the evening or I'll try to text you back uh, when I have a free moment or something along those lines but definitely leave me a voicemail on there. But um, one of the other things that was out on the table was a Polymer 80 laser stippled uh, frame as well and it was just kind of one of those deals where I haven't seen any of these videos actually actually released yet on YouTube um, so this is a bluish uh, black frame that was a little bit of battle worn we got a little bit of sanding going on here and things like that and it's, this is one another one of those just kind of sample uh, sample frames that I brought out I want to show people that we can still laser stipple the polymer 80s uh, even though you don't really see anyone else doing it on the market um, you see a lot of hand stippling, you just don't see, happen to see a lot of that laser stippling. So um, kind of just letting people know that, they're, that we have some uh, alternative routes that they can take as far as getting some stuff done, especially if they've gone down the path and decided that they wanted to do a, an 80% to finish it out themselves. So they're not stuck with, with uh, you know, what the market has. We can still build stuff custom to you, um, which is kind of a whole extra layer of uh, coolness on that factor because now you have an 80% that we can actually do some cool stuff to and, um, you know, it's just totally different than doing it from a serialized gun or one that came from Glock. So it's just a whole extra layer of uh, opportunity there. But, but guys, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, concerns about anything, turnaround times, anything like that. Um, my number and email and everything is on is definitely on our, our webpage. And you can also find us directly from uh, YouTube and Instagram. You can message us directly on those um, and Facebook. So guys, have a good one. Expect to see some Polymer 80 lower video builds come out really soon because I just bought eight of them. So um, we're going to be doing a lot of different patterns. We're going to be doing some, uh, some really cool stuff. So uh, expect to be seeing that over the next two or three weeks once that stuff arrives. And, and of course, we always have a crazy amount of projects that we're working on now um, that'll be turned out our regular stuff. A lot of our Glocks, our CZs, and our MMPs. So uh, stay tuned because we've got some really cool stuff headed your way. Thanks.